you know, you, you, you touched upon a couple of things, um, you know, when you were talking about your choir days and how mm -hmm. you were moved by the music. I mean, I think music is the language of soul. And Definitely. I think you, you, you were feeling... Uh, you yeah, were feeling even the as love, a kid, the music conveyed that yeah. probably more than the words of the sermons. Definitely, and, and, um, and especially watching the reaction of people, and even as a, as a child, I mean, you might not know why the people um, in the congregation are having, you haven't necessarily felt that serious heavy burden of, you know, finances and death and the, the different things you go through as you, as you get older. Um, but you know, you know, you, mm -hmm. you, you, you don't know yet, but the music is like, wow, this is, it has that, that feeling in your belly and you're like, man, these people are really reacting. And, uh, we as a group did that to them or, or help, help provoke that or help move that. And that, that sticks with you, you know, no matter what the words are really, mm -hmm. um, that really, really sticks with you. So that's definitely something I'll never forget. And then later on getting into punk rock and, and um, which really opened up a gateway for Roots Music for me of um, listening to people like uh, Johnny Thunders, who then you find out that these guys love Chuck Berry, who then listen to, you know, and it just the keeps going back. same three chords. And, and, and it, <laughs> it ended up connecting all the way back for me, back to Sister Rosetta Tharp and uh -huh. back to the Soul Stirs. And yeah. I was like, when I thought I'd kind of turned away from all of that, I was like, here we are again, right at the gospel point. And then, you know, Jerry Lee Lewis growing up in, in, the, in the church and Little Richard growing up in the church and Otis Red. I mean, how many artists can you list that that's their beginning? So, so many, and, yes. And um, so you, you end up kind of coming full circle, mm -hmm. which uh, for me was a good thing because, it, you know, being very adolescent and trying to be so anti whatever the hell you're trying to be anti, <laughs> it's nice to let go of that and just say this all has some sort of purpose for somebody. And it's still all it's still all music, and it's great music, and it's great energy, which is the main thing you're pushing off. I mean, Sister Rosetta Tharp is as rock and roll oh as my gosh. anybody. Yeah, she's the she most rock and roll. <laughs> I mean, she is it for me. Yeah, you know, she so. she was timeless, way ahead of her time. Way ahead, uh, and influenced so 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 many. So my many father people. came home with a with a Rosetta Tharp album in in the early '60s, and I'm going. Yeah. What's this? Exactly. You know? And you could, I could, you couldn't help but be be moved. And then you, you know, appreciate the unconventional lifestyle and stuff too. And you think about all these artists and a lot of the stuff that they had to go through to be who they were, uh, personally or musically. And um, that challenge is a little different now because uh, you can kind of do anything. So paying yeah. paying homage to that is is uh, really interesting in a time like now. Yeah. But uh, it's very possible, you know. One, one, the other thing I like to say about music, you know, is, is food for the soul. Music is like food, mm -hmm. and I, I give you credit because, uh, you know, I, I personally don't want to eat the same food three times a day, seven days a week. Yep. Uh, you know, I, I like a, a variety, and I ease in. You know, when you were talking about, you know, that, you know, if you there's a big difference between the Thelonious Monk, and and Johnny Thunders. Yeah, uh, yeah. However, there are times when that is the right food. You know, you don't want spicy food maybe first. First thing when you get up in the morning. Exactly. But, exactly. but uh, as you a add, different get into your day later on, you're craving that spice. And your yep. your show uh, is kind of a buffet because you folks do offer up, um, uh, you know, uh, you know, a, quite a quite a variety of, of It's like sampling this wonderful uh, <laughs> uh, cool. meal. There's a little bit of, of all your food groups, yeah, and and yeah. some of it's spicier than others. Now, if you don't mind, may I ask you a little bit about uh, the band. Yeah. Um, I I read that uh, Matt, who seems to be your main foil, and it's interesting. Uh, I you you folks had an energy bef before I found out uh, yeah. that that you're very close. Yes. Uh, <laughs> and, and, uh, I'm not related to Lauren Hill. <laughs> for most uh, that ask. <laughs> but uh, and, oh, and you know, forgive my my all over the placeness, but um, okay. when I saw uh, your name and I saw uh, your hairstyle, it reminded. I'm old enough to remember a very young Nikki Giovanni. Yeah. And yeah. I couldn't help but the think That's of that. Cool. <laughs> think of her. I remember when she was a young poet. That's, That's how long really I've cool. been around. That's really cool. Yeah, yeah. So so uh, you know, I I, I like the the classicness of that, but. That's awesome. Getting back to Matt, now, did I read that uh, he was playing and you were tending bar and uh, yeah, at one um, time and that uh, he, he, he wanted to hear you sing or he knew that you sung and wanted to share that? Yeah, we grew, we both grew up and we're both from North Carolina mm -hmm. um, and um, we were, 
it was one of those kind of later, even actually to this day, we still talk about like, were you at that gig? I was at that gig, you know, different shows that we've seen and, and stuff like that, um, like really young. I think we both went to the same ACDC concert when we were both <laughs> 13 or something. And, um, both both saw you know Robert Lockwood Jr. at the same wow. festival and stuff yeah. like that. Um, but we had uh, I started to gain a lot of the same musical friends that he had. Uh -huh. You know I was I, I was and, and still am just a huge music nerd. You know so I was just going to live shows and and you know just kind of hanging around and ended up making friends with a lot of the local bands because you know try to go out and support and see them and um, a lot of them also knew Matt. And uh, Matt at the time was was playing um, uh, locally. Um, you know, I was more in the triangle, and he was in the triad, which isn't far apart, but they they seem like two different worlds at, at many times. Um, so when I uh, was going to school, I was in the triad area, and so we started running into each other more. Um, and uh, I think our friends were also trying to intentionally put us together in the same places because we were both kind of like the young kids that love blues and, and rock and roll. And um, so when we met, uh, he didn't know that I could sing. And I mean, I didn't think I could sing either, you know, so it, it didn't really matter, you know, but um, a mutual friend of ours was uh, uh, leading a honky tonk band and I would go to their shows and um, he could hear me singing along to the band, singing the harmonies of these honky tonk songs. So our friend David Quick um, started calling me and saying, hey, if you ever want to just come up and do harmonies for some of these songs, I think that'd be awesome. So I started doing that every once in a while. And it was just for fun. You know, you run up there with a beer and you sing along and you sit down. Um, and I guess Matt heard a little bit of, of that and he thought that was really cool. But uh, um, and fast forward a few years and we started dating and um, he was very heavy into his career you know working on booking tours and recording his record putting it out and uh, you know I guess he would just hear me singing around the house and everything and started telling me like man you really can sing like little I can't believe you can sing little Richard like that that's so cool and I was like oh, I thought he was full of shit because <laughs> he's my boyfriend you know really? I was like okay yeah that's real nice of you and then uh, I ended up playing bass. He didn't have a bass player for a gig um, at this festival called Heavy Rebel Weekender. It's like this rock and roll uh, festival that happens in Winston-Salem, North Carolina, that our friend David Quick puts on that, you know, introduced us. So mm -hmm. it, it's funny how it all connects. Yeah. But um, I ended up playing bass, and uh, he, he made me sing a song. He was like, you have to learn a song for this gig. It was like a 45-minute show or something. And so I sang, um, I sang this kind of old blues song, and uh, and the people cheered and everything. And I was just like, "Oh, you all are drunk, whatever." But <laughs> he just kept, he kept kind of pushing at it, and friends and family started coming in. And I thought, okay, maybe not all these people can be full of shit. Like maybe I can, <laughs> maybe it, it means a little something. And. I just started working at it. I mean, it, it, it was enough of a push. It, it doesn't take much for me. If, if someone tells me I need to try something, I'll go, yeah, you know, I ought to try that out, you know? And, and I had, you know, just such a love for music that that was the main thing for Matt. He was like, you know, we're not trying to mold you into some pop star or something. He's like, but you love this stuff. Like, and there's not enough people that love this. So right. I just think it would be really cool. And he was just making this, you know, this calm suggestion. And uh, then the more I, the more I put into it, the more I started to fall in love with it. And then, uh, you know, I'd hop up on stage and sit in with him and embarrass myself and get off and figure out what I did and try it again. Mm -hmm. And and um, man, then it, it suddenly went from it being this sort of odd thing to like, this is what I have to do. Like yeah. it just, it just, uh, it was really throwing myself into the fire to figure it out. I didn't. I didn't really have the the dream as a little kid to to be a musician. Oh, I mean, if, if I if you know the times when I was going to punk rock shows, I mean, I wanted to be in a band because it was like the cool thing to do. But I didn't want to sing. I wanted to play guitar, or play bass, or something. And so singing was actually kind of a trip. Like this is what I ended up doing. But um, but yeah, him him uh, really encouraging me was such a push. And then. The fact that he wanted to play with me, I mean, he's one of my favorite guitar players then and, and definitely is now. I mean, just his development in the last 
you know, few years that we've been doing this is, is incredible. Well, we had a very brief but animated conversation. I said, there's the yeah. telly man, and, yeah. and he likes telecasters, and I'm, yeah. I'm playing one more these days. Right on, I've yeah. got lots of guitars. You can't have too many guitars. But, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, he, he's a telly man, and yeah. he mentioned that, uh, and so, so Matt Hill is, is the guitarist in the group, and, yeah. and, he, and you, they, you know, your band has, has been, uh, uh, you on vocals, he on guitar, and a bass player and a drummer. Mm -hmm. uh, and we can mention their names too, real yeah, quick. Yes, exactly. Um, Ed Strosall is on bass, uh -huh. and Chris Redden on the drums. Mm -hmm. and, and you have a new member now. Yes, we have a brand new member, Robert Nesbitt on guitar, who's also from North Carolina, actually. Excellent. So it's. Uh, it's been really cool adding him, adding him in, and uh, I mean, I, I'll take a moment to give credit to Matt uh, again that the work he put in as I was putting together and arranging these songs, and he would step in, and I mean, playing the lead and the rhythm, right. I mean, and I, I, this, I was joking with Matt. Really I said, "Man, you've been together. working too." I, this, yeah, because he's. You know your rhythm it's section intense, is man. You're, is holding it all down. Yeah. And Matt. Yeah, it's like you don't have to worry about Matt, those Matt guys. Matt was I've noticed, so and I've saw videos spanning a few How years. How hard he's working. This guy is working so hard. So now to have another guitar, it's beautiful, and as man. a producer type also, as, yeah. as well as an artist, I'm going. You understand that. It would be nice that. for them to have that fourth piece. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, and uh, or the or the fifth piece really, right. but. Uh, and, and I'm so happy for you guys because it's going to, and then, and then you, oh, it's gonna bring there's something so much magical more. about two guitars anyway because sometimes it My, turns into one big guitar exactly. and, you, and it, it's stereo and, you, and you're trying to figure bigger. out who's doing what. Yeah, and, the nuances and the so, songs have changed, yeah. the arrangements are able to adjust and we're able to weave, we're able to oh, try yeah. more things. Yeah. I mean, now the ideas in my head are just exploding of the possibilities now of what we can do because there was times where I was like, well, maybe I can take the recordings and we can just make these epic records and, and just layer all Matt's guitar. But it's like, I, I'm so so into the live show. I, I want, want it to sound like the band does live, you know? And some bands don't like that, some do, whatever. But um, I didn't want to really put that on the record without there being the other member. I mean, you can do some layering, but you want it to stay pretty true to the band, you know? So mm -hmm. it's, it's great having another member to be able to I'm add. I'm excited add to hear it. And, Me too. Uh, I want to thank you for your your generous time and and your uh, your interesting uh, you know history and and uh, you guys the last thing I want to say is that uh, you know I your itinerary is uh, is is very impressive you're all over the place you've been to Europe and back and back and forth yeah. and you're playing all over the country and it's and been amazing uh, Australia uh, India Morocco places wow. that like well you know uh, <laughs> thank you for uh, for for keeping. Uh, rock and roll alive and all its uh, all the roots music. Yeah. And and I wish you guys all the very best. It was exciting Thank to you. find out about yeah. a, a fresh, energetic. Awesome. <laughs> That's what act. I like to hear. All the best. Thanks to you. so much. You man. I appreciate that. <laughs>